In a grid down or partial grid down situation with spotty or limited power, where we may have slipped into a without the rule of law status, there may be several people from just bad guys to looters to opportunistic criminals looking to break into our home and steal from us or do us harm. Maintaining a visual of the perimeter of your home, knowing when people are approaching or trying to breach your home is critical to your survival. So what can you do to prepare your home for this possibility? I get asked this question a lot and I think it is a valid concern. Thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this YouTube ad-free video. I'll share a little more about them later in the video. This video will discuss simple things you can do now to maintain observational awareness over your perimeter. Of course, defending yourself is a whole other video. This video instead will focus on surveillance, keeping a constant awareness and alert system in place to know what's approaching your safe zone and throwing up of enough of deterrence to make even the angriest of lawless mobs want to seek other softer targets. The goal is to keep aware of what's happening outside and deter potential intruders from coming onto your property. So let's jump in. Lights. No power, no problem. If the power in your neighborhood goes out or some nefarious individual tries to cut the power to your house specifically, you can't let it also take down your security. When it comes to lighting, you have to realize that would-be criminals don't want to be seen. Even in a world without rule of law, they risk retaliation from the occupants of the house when they are lit up and blinded by light. Burglars often go after soft target, houses that are dark and will conceal them while they attempt to gain entry. Just one well-placed light can be enough to make a burglar pass on your home. Fortunately, batteries and small solar panels become more affordable and smaller every year. A little over a year ago, I made a visual inspection of my entire house. I tried to view it from the perspective of an opportunistic criminal. It was far too dark on one side of the house and only had a partial wall. I also didn't have an electrical outlet or a wiring on that side. One method I implemented for remedying this weakness was to install a motion-activated solar LED floodlight. They have significantly come down in price and offer increased brightness. I mounted the whole system, panel, and lights on a board that I installed high and out of reach. I check it now and then, and it has worked perfectly for over a year now. Consider a system like this or individual smaller lighting options for any unilluminated areas of your house. Avoid the miniature panel versions meant for stairs and walkways. They're neither bright enough nor are they built to last. I've had to replace several of these smaller units under windows. They just don't seem to really hold up. If you're worried that people might see your house as having power, don't. Solar charge systems are elevated out of reach, still have visible panels, and they clearly show onlookers that they have a self-contained power source. Cameras. When it comes to no power, you want to check any electrical surveillance product you buy to determine the total runtime after the power goes out. Most now come with lithium or another type of battery backup that can run for 24 hours or more of continued usage. Whether that's a camera, video doorbell, or monitoring station, plan for it to have its own battery backup of some kind independent of your electrical system. These are usually trickle charged from your home's power, so factor that feed, if you can, into your emergency power needs of considering a home generator or a battery backup system. Even if the internet goes down, your Wi-Fi devices will still be working so long as you're providing electricity to your internet router with a UPS or other similar battery backup. A home Wi-Fi network, which is almost always hosted by a router, is independent of the internet, meaning any devices on the network can always work with one another to share and back up data, print, stream local media, and so on. So even if the power goes out, you don't have to be in the dark when it comes to monitoring your perimeter. For this reason, cameras at high elevations around your property provide you with unobstructed and complete views at wider angles than what you might get looking out a window. Cameras can be mounted, hardwired into your electrical system, come with solar charged batteries as an option, and even infrared nighttime vision. Even a well-placed baby monitor can be repurposed in a small environment to give you a constant visual of your exterior surroundings. If you need to watch both the front and the back of your house, place a baby monitor in one of those windows. If someone comes to your front door while his partner tries to sneak in the back, you'll know and you won't be surprised in overtaking. Dogs. We all know that different dogs will provide various kinds of security. I've known dogs that bark ferociously at every sound when their master is home, but don't make even a whimper when they're home alone, and the doorbell rings. I've seen big dogs that will tear a person apart if their owner doesn't tell them they can be trusted. I've seen little yippy dogs that I thought would tear me apart even though they probably weigh less than 10 pounds. You just never know what a dog, and that's how they provide both surveillance and security for you. If a malevolent person approaching your house hears a dog bark, they know first that their approach is no longer a secret. 
That awareness alone may be enough to deter them from further approaching. With the dog may also come an armed dog owner. The second thing is that the approaching bad guy doesn't know your dog's size, breed, or ferocity. Even a tiny yipping dog can be an incredible hassle if it's biting the intruder's hands or clamped onto their leg while they're trying to overtake the occupants of a house. Even if you don't send your dog out after a bad guy, having your dog know its borders, the smells, and the sounds of your perimeter helps it distinguish between intrusions and everyday activity. Dogs are a great way to keep a watchful eye and ear on your property. This video is sponsored by Simply Safe, who is currently having their best deals of the year with 50% off. Simply Safe is an effective and reliable home security system that's easy to use and set up. Simply Safe has now rolled out a new outdoor camera, something I've actually been waiting on for a while now. It has a 140 degree field of view at 1080p HD with an 8x zoom, so you can zoom in and capture critical evidence such as faces or license plates. It also has a built-in spotlight with color night vision for nighttime usage and a two-way radio, allowing you to speak through the phone app. With the easy to snap on magnetic base, you can position the camera at the angle you want, easily adjust it and quickly remove it to charge it. In the past, having to wire up external cameras has excluded many, but this has alleviated this problem. With the Simply Safe phone app, you can easily access the camera when away from home. Their interactive monitoring service will call the police if the system is alerted to anything. Save 50% off your Simply Safe security system during their biggest sell of the year. Visit simplysafe.com forward slash city prepping to learn more. Perimeter alerts. You can greatly extend your area of surveillance with motion detectors. I've reviewed the Garline wireless driveway alarm, and I'll link to that in the comments below. The system is a force multiplier. It will run off batteries, can communicate with the base unit up to 400 meters or one fourth of a mile away, and you can string several sensors around your perimeter to have a massive alert system. While it won't provide you with a visual of the threat that is out there, it will tell you from which direction it's coming. They call these driveway alarms, and they're great for that purpose, but you can easily string multiple sensors around your home and build a 360 degree detection system of your perimeter. They can also easily be thrown into your bug out bag to take a layer of security with you. You can be sleeping in an unknown location while these sensors alert you to any motion approaching your campsite. A slightly more expensive option is a live stream capable trail cam. These can be affixed high on trees and will pass unnoticed. Like regular cellular trail cameras, live streaming game cameras detect motion and send an alert with a picture. However, a live streaming trail camera allows users to log in and stream live video directly to their phones. Live feed game cameras are an excellent option for security. As well as around the exterior, consider sensors and places cut off from your house, like your garage or any side of your home with limited windows. Knowing something is lurking beside your house or in your garage without having to hear them puts the advantage back in your court. Depending upon your area and ingenuity, a perimeter trip alarm is another option. These are old-fashioned tripwires that can be set up that makes the sound of a gunshot because they're blowing off an explosive cap, and it's equivalent to a loud 22 caliber. Beyond just getting your attention, they would make any would-be intruder immediately think they're getting shot at. The ASR Tactical Alarm Signaling Anti-Intruder Perimeter Tripwire Trap will give you a warning wherever you set it up. If you have to bug out to the wild, it can easily be thrown to a bug out bag and will send intruders and a four-legged wild animal scurrying away while you have time to wake up and prepare your defenses. In the same category, minus the scary blast, are tripwire alarms. These two are cheap and can give you an audio warning or simply blare from wherever you have placed them if the tripwires trip. Many people opt to make these themselves or repurpose more affordable personal alarm systems. Drones. Depending on the type of crisis, sometimes sending up a video recording drone straight up with a 360 degree rotation can give you a mini block or a mini mile view of threats in your area. In this way, your location security is maintained and you can quickly survey a community of a thousand homes. You can determine if an angry mob is heading in your direction or where the smoke is coming from. If you work with one or more of your neighbors, you can take turns surveying in this manner at regular intervals. The method is mainly for daytime surveillance. Though nighttime vision drones are available, they do tend to cost a lot more. It is much easier to track a drone at night with anti-collision lights than during the day. So be aware of this if you do take your drone up for a quick 360 degree surveillance. I'll be doing a future video specific to using drones after disaster, so subscribe to this channel if you'd like to be alerted when that comes out. Neighbors. Neighbors, they come in many types. Some you can trust and some you wouldn't trust at all. Some you wonder about because you never see them, and when they come home, the garage door closes before they're even out of the car. 
Some have wildly different views or political views than ours, but none of that matters after disaster. After disaster, you indeed find out who your neighbors are. Unfortunately, that's not the time to discover the true nature of your neighbors. I always encourage people to get to know their neighbors. I think your odds of survival go up when you have even one of your neighbors to be more prepared. The conversation, it can start small. Maybe ask them if they're prepared for the next fire, hurricane, earthquake, tornado, power outage, or whatever type of disaster you're likely to face next. With the right neighbor, you can build an alliance and maybe even pull resources a bit. Likewise, you can quickly make a plan after a disaster. That can be as simple as giving them a walkie-talkie to turn on after a disaster. In a limited grid-down situation where the rule of law is no longer in effect, that extra set of eyes on your property may prove to be a lifesaver, and your mutual assistance group or MAG begins to grow. That trusted neighbor probably knows someone else who knows someone else. Suddenly, the surveillance of your area is vastly increased, but you have to start building those relationships now. Don't wait until times of desperation only to find out that your neighbor is even more desperate and will think of taking from you. When you cannot have eyes around your perimeter, it is still vitally important to know what is out there or what may be coming for you. A partial or full grid down situation and its accompanying world without the rule of law can present a host of challenges. Keeping your eyes, light, and ears on your perimeter is vitally important. Hopefully this video provided you with enough information to understand what you can put together for 24-7 perimeter surveillance. The items you put together will depend significantly on your environment. What you might have on a farm will be different from what you would have in an urban apartment or even a suburban neighborhood. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Now you can save 40% or more on your Simply Safe security system during this biggest sale of the year. You can visit simplysafe.com forward slash city prepping to learn more. What do you think? What's your go-to perimeter surveillance strategy or item? Let us all know in the comments below. I learned a great deal from you as I'm sure many subscribers do. I try to read me in the comments and respond to them within the first hour and I can notify you when other videos become available if you take that step to subscribe to this channel. As always, stay safe out there.